Well, good day, everybody. I hope everyone had a nice day. It was pretty nice out there until it just started getting cloudy, I guess, a little while ago. Um, let's begin our class the way we do every day. Call the bottom flag of our country. Bow the masters. We're bow to each other. Step up. Hey! And bow. So we're going to do a little uh, warm up first, and we're going to work on. Uh, entry movement for our knife defenses. And then we're going to work on some breathing exercises as part of a meditation. Um, so that's, uh, that's our schedule for today. So um, let's begin with uh, a little bit of a warm up. So let's just get the muscles moving. Lean your head to the right, and to the left, to the right, to the left, look to your right, look to your left, look to your right, look to your left, eyes forward, chin up, and down, up, and down, and let your head roll side to side. Good, let your arms roll around, slot small circles, and slowly make them bigger. And slowly make them smaller. Yeah. Change directions, small circles. Smaller. And stop front and back. And circle around. Stop, lean to your right, lean to your left, lean to your right, lean to your left, both hands behind your back, push your elbows together. Elbow pull back. And arm out in front and pull across. Switch hands, pull your elbow back. Hand out in front and pull across. Put your hand out, pull your fingers down. Switch. Good. Shake uh, your hips around. Shake your hips around. Circle your hips around. Shake. Oh my goodness. It's been one of those days, I guess. Change directions. And lean back. And reach down. 
Roll your hips around, uh, roll your knees around. Change directions. Push the knees back, reach down, touch your toes. And reach over to your right foot. To your left. One hand on each foot. Come back up, breathe in. Lean back and hands down, breathe out. Move your feet apart, about shoulder width. Slide down to your knees. Slide down to your shins. Down to your ankles. Touch your toes. Both hands to your right. Both hands to your left. One hand on each. And then come back up, breathe in, and out. And move your feet apart, a little bit more. And hands to your knees, down to your ankles. And over to your right foot. Over to your left foot. One hand on each foot. Put your hands on the floor. You're going to move your feet out. And then turn your feet sideways so your feet are pointing forwards again. Stretch down the middle. Stretch to your right foot. Switch to your left foot. One hand on each foot. And one more time, move your feet out. Try to go out as far as you can go. And slowly come back up. So, I said we we're going to work on our entry moves. At least that's what I remember, what I think I said. Um, we're going to start with octagon work. It is everything. Movement is the most important part of self-defense. Getting out of the way, not being in the, in, in the wrong place at the right time. Being in the right place at the right time. Um, so important, okay? Uh, so we're going to work on our octagon. We're going to work it with our stances like we usually do. So we're going to step forwards to a front stance. Bend your knee. Let it work your knee. Bend. We're going to do six more. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. We're going to step over to the corner, go to a front stance, turn to your horse stance, and come back to center. Step to a front stance, turn to your horse, right back to center. Front, horse, back. Front stance, horse, and back. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So next is gonna be stepping off to the side and we're gonna work in our cat. This is what we're gonna do is our entry move for our, our, our technique today. So turn to a cat, keep your hands up in the guard for now and turn. Very good. Now we're going to step back, back stance, put the weight on that back leg, come back to center, back to your back stance, back to center. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So uh, before we move on to um, doing the entry technique, I got a shout out to do since Judy told me that our young man Luke Lennon has received his blue belt. So here is his blue belt. It's waiting for him when he comes into class. So congratulations Luke on getting blue belt. Awesome job. You work really hard. Keep up the good work. Okay? Excellent. It's over here with the other belts. We've got a yellow belt and an orange belt waiting for new owners. So we've got people who are making rank advancements. So keep on working. Um, congratulations. So let's go into our entry move. So from here, we're going to sidestep and we're going to push. Side step and push. This is only part of the movement. So we're just going to work this push piece. Fingers down and we're going to cup so we can grab onto the arm. So it's tiger mouth. That would be grabbing. Tiger mouth. So we're going to do um, 20 of those. Okay? So we're going to stop moving into the left. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this particular attack, it's coming straight in. We can do this against the punch. We can do this with anything that's coming in our midsection down in here. So all I want to do is get missed by that much. It really doesn't take a lot. So all I'm going to do is going to move that body and push. I want to keep that away from me, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So the other side of it, we were just using one hand. We get another hand that we're going to be working with. That hand is going to be pushing down. So whatever is the closest to the person is going to be pushing away. The other hand is going to be pushing down. So I'm going to move over to the side and push down. Turn and push down. Push down. Excuse me. All right. So. Think about the attack is coming in, right? So I'm going to push down. Because the way that I like using the, the, the attack, usually it's going to be edge up so that it comes in. And all the cutting is coming upwards into your body. So we're going to be getting it down so it doesn't come into center. So we're going to push down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, it's a tiger's mouth that we're using. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So we're going to put those two things together now. So I'm going to move, push down, and push away. Both go at the same time. And we're going to be working at the wrist. I want to hold the wrist nice and stationary so there's no flexibility in there. I can control that hand a lot more effectively. Push. down and push away. Push down and away. One, two, three, 
catch the arm. You should be able to see that. Try to catch that arm right in there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these particular techniques are uh, worked off of an older technique um, called Betraying the Gift. And I've got four different variations that I work with. Um, they all start the same way. I think it's, it's important to get good at one thing. So we're going to get good at that entry, and then we're going to adapt closing technique depending upon circumstances. So we're going to do uh, 10 more of the grab, and then we're going to move on to the next stage of the technique. And all we're going to be working right now is those entry moves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. So the next phase is going to be pull up. I'm going to be taking at the wrist and bringing the arm up. I want to fold their wrist and push it so the knife is pointing in that direction. Um, if I just grab and I keep the wrist straight, they pull back. People aren't just going to stab and hold it out there. They're going to pull back and they're going to try to multiple stab. At least that's the technique, the idea that I'm working off of. So if I fold the hand, it's going to make it harder for them to be able to pull their hand through my hands, possibly cutting them. So I want to kink it. I'm going to create this 90 degree bend by holding on and I'm going to twist the wrist up. So I'm going to turn and bring it up. So it should have a knife sticking out that way right now. And I turn, bring this hand right up. Right up. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the next part of what I want to do is I don't want to let go of the hands. They're going to be trying to pull that out. I need to start softening them up though. I need to make them start thinking about something other than just me struggling with that knife. So I'm going to come here, bring my feet side by side, and I'm going to do a roundhouse kick. I'm going to kick to the inner thigh, I kick to the groin, I'm going to kick somewhere to start taking their mind off of their hands and what they're trying to do with the knife. So come in, turn that hand so it's away. It's almost like you're doing prayer hands here, right? And then you do your kick, then you stabilize yourself again, okay? I don't want to let go of it until they, I don't want to start moving my hand around until there's a little bit of compliancy on, my, on their part. So I'm going to come in, kick. Let's say they start to relax a little bit or there's less struggle, then I'm going to hit them in the ribs with the back fist and come right back again. I'm not going to wait and I'm going to hit and come back. And then from there, I can make my assessment of what I want to do next. So I'm going to come in, kick, hit, and come right back, holding on to those arms. So we're going to try the other side. So I'm going to push down, kick, back fist, and bring it back. Push, kick, back fist, and back again. Push down, come across, turn, settle my stance, do a kick, back fist, and come back to the ground. So that's the entry movement. And there's a couple of different ways we can finish up our techniques. Like I said, I've got four different endings. Um, three of them go to the inside of the attack, one goes to the outside, um, and we'll cover that maybe in a little bit, another time, but that's the entry movement. 
So let's just go over that entry movement one more time. So I'm going to shift my body weight. I'm going to push down, grab, pull up, kick, back fist, and come back again. So push down, push away, grab. I'm going to roll this right up into my chest for my kick, back fist. One, two, back fist. Let's say that they've, there's less struggle left, then I'm gonna come with a back fist and drop an elbow, take the knife, and that's one of the techniques. Another one we can be doing is going behind the person. So I'm going to do my same entry movement, kick, I back fist, I'm gonna spin under and create an arm bar and bring them down. And another one goes for different armbar technique. I'm going to come in, grab, kick. I'm going to push right back towards them and break the arm over my shoulder. So the possibility to work with. And the last one is same entry movement here, except instead of grabbing, I'm going to hold on here and I'm going to smash the tricep. Hyperextend the arm and go into an armbar technique here. So those are some of the ideas. So we're going to work on um, a breathing exercise. So we're just going to uh, take a moment. I want you to make yourself comfortable. Um, I like sitting in Seiza. You can do anything that makes you comfortable, OK? Um, it's important to be at comfort for this. So stop by just relaxing. Take a breath in and let it out slowly. Now, one of the things that I work with is I want to concentrate on my breath. I want to eliminate all of the thoughts. And some people use a mantra, some use a phrase um, to help focus their mind on something other than all the thoughts that go into our heads. So what I want to do is I concentrate on my breathing. So I think in, out. I guess that's my mantra, in, out. And I'm feeling the air fill my lungs, and I'm feeling the air leave. And I'm trying to get all the sensations about that breathing. It, the breath should feel cool going in. It should feel warm going out. Now, part of the other process is I tend to Breathe in quickly, relax, but quickly, and breathe out slowly so that the breath actually lasts two to three times longer going out than going in. So if I breathe in on, let's say, a five count, oh, that's probably too long, a three count, right? Right at the top, that's one, two, three. I breathe, counted as I was breathing in. And then we'll breathe out on a six. Breathe in on a three count. And out on a six. Two, three, four, five, six. So I want you to work on that. Breathe in. And I tend to breathe in my nose, off my mouth. There is no right way to breathe. There are many different methodologies. Um, I just tend to breathe in my nose, out my mouth. So feel the air going in. A slight pause, and then let it out. Slight pause, breathe in. Slight pause and breathe out. Now, the more you do it, the longer you can start um, expanding how long you hold your breath at the top. Um, I've done it where I breathe in on a three count, hold for a three count, breathe out on a six, hold for three before I breathe in, and I just keep that cycle going. And my concentration on the breathing helps me clear my mind of all the other stuff. 
What you want to eventually get to is just be able to clear your mind and focus on nothing, which is really hard because thoughts come into your head all the time. So we'll just try that a couple of times. We'll breathe in. Out. So another aspect of this is about diaphragm breathing. So I'm going to turn sideways a little bit. So when you breathe in, we don't want to breathe up top. We want to breathe down with our belly. So when I breathe in, I'm going to let my belly go out to, that's where my legs, lungs are expand. I'm not going to breathe up here. There's not enough room. You can't get a lot of breath in. And it tends to be very short and hyperventilating breaths. Um, ever watch a baby breathe? Their belly goes up and down. They don't have a care in the world. When they start having cares in the world, that's when they start breathing up high. And it's more anxious breathing when you're breathing up in your upper body. So when I'm breathing, I breathe in, and I let it all sink down here. And then when I breathe out, I push from the bottom up. So it's all my diaphragm that's doing the work. So those are some of the aspects that I do for breathing exercise. Um, work on it so you clear your mind. Deep breathing. Try to extend it the more you do it. The longer you can hold your breath, the longer you can exhale on the breath. Um, try to breathe in. The better you get, the better your lungs get and the more strength you have. So, um, thank you all very much. Let's finish up our class. So, bow the flag, bow the masters to each other. And once again, congratulations to Luke Lennon, who got his purple belt, uh, his blue belt today. His blue belt. So congratulations, Luke. Okay, step out. X block. Hey! Well, thank you all very much. Have a great day. This one will get posted up on our YouTube channel. So take care. Bye-bye.